Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech. And when you go to buy an Apple Vision Pro, while you go through the process, you scan your face. And then the next step is actually if you need glasses or not. Apple does not allow you to use glasses within the Apple Vision Pro as they won't fit, but you can buy optical inserts. And you'll see here we have Zeiss optical inserts for readers or prescription lenses. I actually have prescription lenses for up close. So I thought we'd take a look and see what the overall process is like. They're $149 and they all also have a machine in the store to help out with this as well so they can make them on site so let's go ahead and open these up like i said that it's 149 dollars once you get started you actually have to put in your prescription put in your information and then it actually has to be improved so you answer a few questions if you wear glasses or not and then if you wear contacts yes or no and then the type of lenses you want i wear prescription over the counter readers or non-prescription so you'll see here and then you go through the setup and then upload your overall prescription and then it gets approved. Once it's approved, then they'll either ship them to you or you can bring it to a store. So let's go ahead and open this up. You'll see these are my Zeiss optical inserts here with a prescription. We'll open up the package here. Try it on the back and there we are. And this is the first time I'm seeing these as well. So it opens like this. It says Precision Optics by Apple and Zeiss. And let's see what we've got in the box. So nothing here. And then Vision Pro Zeiss on the back here. It says sign in, sign up on my Zeiss Vision 2. Activate your free one-year warranty. So we've got a bunch of information here with optical inserts and more. So if you want a warranty on them, apparently they warrant them for one year. And let's open this up. So inside is a Zeiss Pro or Vision Pro Zeiss QR code. And you'll see it says place them on the inserts on the back of the lenses, then prompted scan the code. And it may prompt you to switch the light seal cushion provided. And there's the lenses themselves. So you can see these here. It actually has this stamped left. You can see the lens. And here's the back of it as well. So that's what it looks like. And then of course, the other one I expect would say right. So you can see that here. Now let's go to the back of the Vision Pro. Let me take off the back strap and I almost dropped that. This happens all the time. One thing to mention is this is magnetic and it easily pops off the actual light seal. So you have to be careful to actually pick it up from the metal itself. Now, if we take this light seal off, just so you can see this, we'll place these here. They're magnetic. There we go. And then if I place this on my face, so now that my optical inserts are actually attached, now I look at this code here, you'll see it like this. It recognizes it, gives me a check mark, and then I can set it up. So it says adjusting lighting, as you can see here, and then I'll have to go around and actually tap my fingers together and look at a couple different dots. So it adjusts, we'll give it just a moment. So we'll look at the dot and tap our fingers. Then we'll just look at all of the different ones that they put all over the place. So, and I'm just moving my eyes, looking into each dot. We can do it again. This is very much like the first setup, even if you're not using these optical inserts. So we'll do it again. And then one more time in different lighting, which is even brighter. And that's it. Then it says completing eye setup and we should be good to go after that point. So there we go. And now you'll see my prescription there. And we also have comfort tips and we can realign the displays. We can redo the eye setup and that's about it. We can also set up new optical inserts if you want to. So pretty simple and straightforward. You'll also have to set up optical ID again once you first actually start using this, but that's really all there is with this setup. If you take them off, you can continue to use them without it and it will sense that they're not attached to the display. So we'll just pull left and right and everything works like it would, but now you've got your prescription lenses on there. 
And so that's everything with the optical inserts. Pretty simple to use. If you want to remove them, you just grab them like this. They're magnetic and you can see they come right off. If you want to clean them or whatever, just put them right back. It senses they're there and you're good to go. Not much more to it than that. Pretty simple, but this is meant for one person, but you could swap it out every time you wanted to. It just wouldn't be as simple to use as it's really designed to have one person and then occasionally a guest mode. Let me know if there's anything else you want to know about the Zeiss optical inserts and how they work or anything like that. They seem like they work just like any other glasses and pretty simple and straightforward. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.